In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best competitive Dead by Daylight settings to make your game go from this to this. Stay tuned. I'm going to first start off with some surface level stuff, your in-game settings. So you're going to want the quality on low that's going to give you the best FPS. And honestly, it doesn't look that much different from Ultra. It's just going to give you extra performance. Definitely would run low. If you don't care too much, then go for it. And then... These are the rest of the settings. We're going to put Gamma on 2.9, anti-aliasing. We want that off, that off, UI scale. I like to have my UI set to the lowest. I think it just looks a lot cleaner. I like my in-game HUD as well, very small. And I like my skill check to be maxed out because I like having being able to see that, of course. And then these are the other ones I have. And copy those. And then if we're going to head over on to accessibility we're going to want to turn on our visual heartbeat there's no reason not to have that on it'll also give you the huntress one it's very good definitely would do that also forgot to cover this i would definitely recommend running full screen and your native pc resolution for your monitor and then turn this up to 100 obviously anything else isn't good i run windowed full screen so i can tab out for obviously just obs and stuff like that for recording but other than that i would run full screened then for our next step, we're going to want to go to our Windows uh, bar, and we're going to type in percent local app data percent. What that's going to do is it's going to take us to our local app data, obviously. And then we're going to go to Dead by Daylight. You're going to click Saved. You're going to click Config. Steam, it'll say Windows Client, but on Epic Games, it'll be Windows GDK. You're going to want to go to your game user settings right here. And then you're going to want to go to your shadow quality, and you're going to want to change that from 3 to 0. So you're going to want to change your audio quality level to 3. So if you just type that in, change that to 3, boom. Now we have that. And if you just want to copy these scalability settings, this is what I have mine set to. So you just want to go to reshade.me, and then you're going to want to click download. You're going to get their newest version. And you're just going to click the setup. It's very easy to do. So once you get here, if your game doesn't pop up, you're going to want to have to click browse. You're going to go to wherever your game is installed. There we go. I have it in a Fortnite folder. Then you're not going to want to click on the EXE. So you're going to click on Dead by Daylight, Binaries, EGS, and you're going to want to do the shipping one. That's the one that's going to actually work. Then you're going to click Open, and boom, it'll be there. You're going to want to set it to Microsoft DX11. Then you're going to click Next. For reference, it'd look like this. You're going to want to uncheck All and then Check All, and then you're just going to click Next, and you're just going to download it. Then once you're on the game, you're going to want to hit Home, that's going to bring up your shade menu. And then what I would use for this game is you're going to want to click on Lift Gamma. So you can search that up. Contrast Limited Sharpening. And then Contrast Brightness Saturation. These are the ones I use for this game. You can mess around with it and find out your own thing. Or you can look up presets. But these are the presets. Or not presets. These are the ones I like using. That's about it. Now you know the best settings for FPS and just visibility in general. Have a good one.